Hello and good morning y'all, and welcome back to Tower Unite. Now this video, I'm primarily going to be showing progress with the resort I've been building, uh, on and off stream. If you go to my streams, you probably know what this is. If you don't, you only watch the YouTube. Uh, I've been building what's essentially like a big community slash stream history museum, uh, in the form of a resort. So I've done a few subathons, people have kind of like secured suites and images and stuff like kind of in the resort itself to like help support me as I build this because it's going to be a 50 plus hour long project. Right now I'm about 13 hours deep. If you've watched my stream of building this, I've actually added quite a bit to it, but I still got a very long way to go. So I'm just going to kind of show people like what we've kind of got going on, uh, what all of this is. It is actually optimized pretty well. It doesn't actually take that long to kind of load in, but there is a lot of stuff to load in. So I'm just going to kind of wait. And I'm um, just kind of show all the rooms. So again, this is a stream slash community museum, if you will. Uh, primarily for Twitch, but I'm going to definitely throw in some YouTube stuff at some point in here. Uh, so let's just kind of like see what I've done so far. So in the opening kind of like atrium, is this a, not really atrium, but like the opening kind of subway area, I have a lot of uh, images of posters I've done for subathons, things like that. Just kind of like old stream events where I try to sell out and make a lot of Twitch money. Um, some of these go back to, like, 2017, 2018. Other one of the, some of these kind of, like, you know, like, from a couple months ago. Like, this is the resort-a-thon where I started building this exact resort. How meta. So, yeah, this started March 31st, 2023, so not too long ago. Um, but, yeah, that's, like, the, and it goes on both sides. I just found a bunch of these images. I couldn't find enough to fill every slot, so I'm gonna try and figure out something better to do than, like, one of my emotes. And, like, one of my merch designs down here. Just kind of make it more thematic. But we'll see. Maybe I'll find some more. Um, then when you kind of come in here, we have the entrance. This is going to be the penguin cave. We have my little banner. Um, and we got my my penguin that's going to greet you. It says, hello, I like Twitch money. Welcome to the penguin cave. Four ninety nine for 27 great emotes. Wow, what a hole. Go ace. So we got we got my beautiful, uh, my, my beautiful stream vocabulary here. And then going into the theater, this is something that a lot of people really enjoyed doing. Uh, if you don't go to my stream, we have a joke where Michael Sarah goes into every movie. So we have the Hall of Sarah here. Uh, I still got a few posters left to put up. Uh, but this is just kind of like stuff that people have been suggesting for me to put up. So we got Sarah Alone 2, Lost in New York. We got Sarah Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. We got Sarah and the Twelve Dancing Princesses. Live Free or Die Sarah. We have The Princess Sarah, and Bad Sarah 3, Badder Sarah. Uh, and then when we go into the theater itself, we have a couple NPCs that people have uh, asked me to put down. We got Chicken Joe, Ada Wong, Billy, um, and three Genshin peoples that I don't know their names, but the, we have five NPCs sitting down here. Six, I can count. Um, one big thing with this um, resort is I'm kind of limiting how many workshop items I put down, like NPCs and items. So you can see, like, mainly images, because, like, those load in a lot better than, like, the workshop models. And I'm trying to make sure when this thing's filled out, we're not going to have, like, memory leaks and bad optimization. I want this to be kind of runnable, like, even on, like, the not not the best PCs. It's going to be a challenge, but I'm, I'm doing my best. Now as we kind of go into the main hall here, uh, we obviously have a lot of canvases set. I'm going to be putting all my Twitch emotes, or a lot of them, down and kind of, like, wrapping around. Just kind of, like, give the, the penguin vibe here. That's what we're going to be doing, and then in this area here, we're going to kind of do a bit of a dining room. I'm contemplating, like, how I want to fill this out. I have a few ideas in my head. I'm not going to, like, really say for certain what I'm doing yet. The fish tank is actually going to be holding a lot of images of just things that I've tried and just kind of scrapped. This is going to kind of be, like, the trash bin. I have stuff that I've done, like, a Game Boy challenge that never went anywhere. I had uh, this series called Destroying My Childhood. And just a whole bunch of different stuff I've done. This is going to be kind of like the, the dumping tank for failed projects. I felt like, I felt like that would be kind of fun to kind of put in there. Now, we only have two areas up here kind of filled out. So this is the community art, fan art, image room. Where people were able to kind of submit like anything to me for free. And I would like put one thing up they wanted. Uh, so we got a silence bottom. Uh, we have good old Dead by Derek here made me this lovely image. We have an otter. Disgusting. We have some, I think, is that Final Fantasy? I think it's Final Fantasy XIV, maybe? I don't know. But we got that from good old Zerius. We have Clyde the Cat. 
We have Stevie the Shih Tzu. Thank you, Linger. Uh, we got this little cat meme thing here. We have more cats. Uh, this is this is Mina's cat, Boomy. And a wasp's cat. Uh, we got that thing from the Mortuary Assistant. We got, like, demons. We got, just, we got, we got memes. And just pictures. And I'm gonna be doing a second, like, resortathon thing to kind of fill this out some more. We'll probably put up, like, extra walls and whatnot. And just, it's really try and fill this out. And then next to it is gonna be, like, the Stream History Museum. Or, like, the stream kind of, like, unreleased or forgotten or scrapped, sort of. I don't know, like, what to really say. This, this is kind of, like, vintage stuff. Uh, so we have my Warhol AIPS poster uh, that got removed from the merch site within about 24 hours because it referenced Pepe the Frog. So thank you very much, designed by humans, but it's one of my favorite art pieces. And thankfully, I do have the shirt and mug of this. One of my original panel designs when I first started doing penguins. Uh, transparency is not really enjoyed by, uh, by Tower sometimes, so I've got to try and find a way to fix that. Uh, one of my original rewards lists for my stream... This is like circa, I want to say, 2016 I made this one. Uh, this is one of my original banners. We got an old Battleship game. I used to do uh, sub games uh, with uh, people. And they would, um, for this one it was Battleship, and people would be able to DM me every single day with where they wanted to shoot their shot. We had like, I think it was, how many people were in this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We had 14 people playing Battleships. So I get 14 DMs every day uh, of, like, where to shoot shots, and people get eliminated, and winner won a Steam game. And an un... Well, not an unreleased, but this is, like, an initial sketch for an old merch design I have, which I showed kind of back in the intro for the subway. You may have saw something similar. This is, like, the original sketch. And then coming in here, I have a Twitch team called the Mellow Fellows. This is going to be the Mellow Fellow Club. Or the Fellow Club, um, or the Mellow Club, I don't know what to call it yet. There's like nothing in here, I have a few bar stools, a pool table, a heart. The heart here is going to be kind of like a a way to kind of celebrate what we've done with the American Heart Association, because we've raised uh, 8000 I think it was $8,000 last year? Eight? Maybe it was eight, or was it like six? Hold, how much money did my team raise for American Heart Association last year? I forgot like off the top of my head, because I'm a dummy. Um... $7,755. So, I'm going to probably do that, and we're also doing another AHA, like, raising thing uh, in June, so that total might get higher, but won't be updated in time. And I'll probably do something for, like, when we raise for Extra Life, I'll probably commemorate that somewhere. Uh, but otherwise, almost everything in here is empty outside of this Big Daddy poster. If only felt appropriate putting it in the bathroom back here, because we have a joke in my stream. At least we used to. We don't really reference it much anymore, but um, I do not accept any spoilers for anything ever. I get really, I, I get a little bit, a little bit, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, a little bit, I guess we'll say annoyed uh, if I get spoiled on stuff, but if it's for Big Daddy, spoil that away. Good old 1990 hit, 1999 hit Big Daddy. Um, but otherwise, this is going to end up being a cafe. Where we kind of put like all the memory food. Because we talk about food a lot in my stream. So we're going to probably put all the food that gets talked about over there. Down to this area, it's empty. I don't know what to do with this. We got three floors of this. Hell if I know. Um, and then we're going to have we're gonna have an arcade. And then I forget what I'm making the other two rooms. I had ideas, but I'm blanking on what they were. Well, I guess three rooms. But I assure you, I have ideas for, like, all the rooms. It's just my my brain is blanking. We got my little blank emote there. Also, if you want to climb up the vents, I may or may not have something up here. <laughs> it's just filler. There's only filler there. Uh, if we go to the suites, uh, people are able to get their own custom personal suites. So far, I have six of them that I gotta make. But I've only kind of half done one. This is for clams. I still got to do the bathroom, but she wanted a Genshin and Sonic the Hedgehog themed suite. So I'm doing that, and I'm also kind of personalizing it. Like, she always talked about Pizza Hut spaghetti. So I have Pizza Hut spaghetti in here, and I'm just trying to Genshin and Sonic it up. Uh, and I just kind of, like, she likes stuff like a hat in time, so I put that in here. And just, I'm, I'm doing my best to kind of, like, build the best possible suite I can. But I've got a long way to go. 
this is just kind of the framework for it. So. That's the only suite I've really kind of started. I would say this is maybe a third of the way done to, like, maybe a half, depending on how much work I put, like, in each uh, suite. Because I want this done by June 1st. Or rather, May 1st. And I've already got to build six of them. So, yeah. And there's nothing outside yet, but I'm going to be making my own personal ho uh, house in here. And the, uh, the cabin outside. Now, the one area that's actually done is the Game World Hub. Which I'm using as a content history hub. So, almost every single image that you highlight has something written on it. Um, so, my history, like, with streaming. Uh, my history with YouTube. The fact that, like, GOG and the Sega Saturn here. If you come up here, it just kind of gives you a brief overview. Like, yes, you can highlight everything. And the main hubs here are kind of, like, the things that have been featured for over 100 hours each on my channel. With very limited exceptions. And then, going up and down the walls, we have a lot of the notable games my stream has kind of featured. And I'm just notable. Just, like, ones that I wanted to feature. Because my stream's covered over a thousand individual games. And this is just, like, a small smattering of them. So, like, main-wise, we got game show games. So, like, I would always do, like, game show night. So I wanted to kind of commemorate that. Because we've probably done at least a hundred-ish hours worth of game shows on my channel. We cover stuff like, I 100% a Wheel of Fortune while waiting in Dead by Daylight queues. Or how I always let uh, chat participate, and sometimes they're wrong. My favorite personal game shows. What game show games we do for game show nights. Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, Week is Link, Family Feud, Hollywood Squares, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Price is Right. Um, and how I always pick the absolute worst answer in Family Feud. So, we got that. We got stuff for Dead by Daylight. Like how I used to be the top 20 billies in the world. How I've collected a million shards. Uh, up until I kind of stopped playing in the summer, more or less. How I once spent four hours trapped in a basement in the game. And how I'm a meghead. So we kind of feature that. We got my VHS stuff going, because VHS is my current obsession. Um, when I started playing it. How I feel about certain characters, my favorite weapons, my win rates. We kind of like have that in there. Um, Mario Maker. Um, I, how I prefer Mario Maker 1 over 2 and why, how it inspired me to kind of get a cap, uh, capture card, uh, my favorite kind of levels, the names of the uploads I have, Mark 8, just more stats, things like that, my favorite characters, just like all this just has stuff, Super Animal Royale over here has a little section, how it's my favorite, my favorite weapons, things like that. We got Fall Guys, kind of covering my outfits, crown counts, things like that. We got the Tower Unite section, which is mainly just made of my Tower Unite trophies and stuff. Uh, so the only thing really highlighted here is the fact that like I've built up the YouTube with Tower. Because Tower is more of a YouTube thing than like a stream thing, although I have streamed Tower quite a few times. I've probably done like a good like 50-ish hours of Tower streams. Uh, then we got the Retro section with my favorite consoles and my favorite games like on a, a platform basis. So the retro section, I really focus on Sega Saturn, original Xbox, and PSP. Because, like, those are the main retro consoles I've featured. But I've also done, like, NES and Genesis and stuff. But, like, these are, like, the, the three mains that I cover on the channel for retro content. And we also kind of just got some box art for stuff down here. Uh, because why not? We got the Gmod section, because I used to be a Gmod streamer back in 2015. Uh, Smite, which I streamed in 2012 and 2013, and a little bit of 2014, and just, like, little factoids about that. And then other notable games, just stuff I couldn't, like, make full room for. Stuff that maybe didn't quite hit the 100-hour count, but definitely got featured, like, 50-plus hours. Stuff like Smash, Siege, Gold Express, PUBG, Prop Night, Friday the 13th, like, all this stuff has been featured. I would say at least 50 hours, nearing 100 and then, like, all the pictures here uh, all have the name of the game and what date I completed them on. So, it's been a big undertaking. So, this is just, again, like, these are... A lot of these are notable games that, like, I really enjoyed streaming. Like, not a single game here that I have hung up are games I did not enjoy. Because I've definitely streamed through a lot of games I wouldn't really call great. Um, but these are just all kind of games I've picked out from, like, the list of, like, a... I think it's, like, 650 I've beaten on stream that I wanted to feature. Uh, I might add little factoids besides, like, the date I completed them. Because, like, Homefront's a special game. Homefront's the first game I beat in my initial one-year challenge. 
because I streamed from February 26th, 2015 to February 26th, 2015, uh, every single day for a f one year straight. Um, or was it 25th or 20? It, it was one of those. It was a one year period where I did it. And this is the first game I played and the last game I played during that one year to kind of go full circle. Uh, and then I took a couple days off and now I've been on stream every single day since December 28th, 2016. I haven't had a day off in 2,285 days or something. Um, so just, when you do that much, you kind of cover a lot of games. So yeah, we got like Insound Mind, Martha is Dead, What Remains of Edith Finch, uh, Chicken Please, Row 96, Last of Us 2, Red Dead Redemption 2, Elisa, Voodoo Detective, just a lot of games, like really big, really small, just playthroughs maybe people don't even know I did. But I covered so many games. We also got my starting soon and my unused Be Right Back screen here. Just kind of tie together the whole streaming thing of this. And that's what we got of the resort so far. But I would say probably this this content history section is more or less done. We also got penguins down here. Maybe I'll find like a thing or two to kind of add in here to make it feel more complete because there is some blank space. But I would say I would say this area is completely done. And again, outside of that, like I just gotta, I still gotta build up everything else. That game world section took me forever. Um, so I think tomorrow night when I start building this again, uh, I'm probably gonna get all the emotes laid out here, most likely. And then maybe I'll, and then I'm pro probably gonna try and get the cafe filled out and like this little tank here filled out. Uh, that should probably take me like an hour, maybe, to get them all uploaded and kind of figured out and placed, looking good. Um, and then I'll start working on sweets because people are waiting on sweets to get done. And then we'll hop into the club and do that. So I got I got a lot of work ahead of me. I uh, probably got like another thirty-ish hours <laughs> of uh, of condoing to do. It's also very expensive. I'm like six hundred thousand units in the hole at this point. Um, and I actually got to in order to finish up one thing I want to do. I got to get a milestone reward from the casino. So I actually got to sit here and play slot machines one day. I'm probably going to boot up like something I haven't watched yet that I mean to watch, like Stranger Things Part 4 or something. And I'm probably just going to sit down on the slot machines and farm casino XP. And hopefully make some money too. Make some good units. So, yeah, that's the resort. Uh, I'm probably not going to show it off on video again until it's done because, I don't know, going little by little on video doesn't seem great. Maybe I'll do it one time, one more time. Is an update, but I don't really plan on it. Um, do we have, like, anything good here? Like, jackpot-wise, not really. Domino. Wow, I'll spin a few wheels here. Although, I will say, I feel like the, um... The, the increased odds, the increased payout day for the casino was such a scam. And I'm so glad when I covered it, like, people commented saying, Yeah, no, it's a freaking scam. Because I got nothing out of it. Just like I'm getting nothing out of this. At all. Come on. Come on. Give me at least one spin. I just want to sit down and get a quick spin. That's all I wanted. I feel hurt. A Wheel of Money jackpot's like the only thing I've not done yet in this game, I feel like. At least for the casino. But wow, I have lost literally every spin so far. This is kind of impressive. Come on. Just give me the triple bar! Please! This is painful! There we go! My god, at least I'm up ahead now. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother going for a uh, a spin there. How many more? Actually, I have an achievement for uh, for slot machine spins. I'm still annoyed they added these achievements after like my uh, my casino time was mostly done. What else do I gotta do? Right, I'm actually getting close to the thousand bets in slot machines, but I got so many nothings left to get on Wheel of Money. Ooh, that's gonna be a pain. Now, before we wrap up the video, is there anything like in the arcade I want to do? 
Because my voice is already kind of like hurting. It's been a long day. Let's see. How's ring toss looking? Oh, we'll do. We're gonna do one ring toss. Like, no jokes, just one. I know people think I'm probably lying. I'm gonna do multiple. No, I'm doing one. And only one. Go up higher. We got this. Should almost have the bonus. It's not the best. I'll take it. I'll take those tickets. I really shouldn't be spending units, considering... Or I guess I have the tokens already. But I really shouldn't be spending. Because I gotta save everything for that resort. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna need to spend like, close to another million to get it done. Depending on how many items I really need. Because those sweets are gonna be very expensive. This is a bad super hoopers, dude. Wow, those are awful super hoopers, dude. Only 80? Ugh. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Alright. Oh, I more or less covered everything I wanted to cover. But yeah, uh, so again, I don't know like if I'll really be showing progress updates of the resort on YouTube. Maybe I'll do one, maybe like halfway through the month, like after my second resort-a-thon or something. I don't know. Um, but I think it's coming along really good. I've obviously got a long way to go. Um, I probably have like another 30, 40 hours of like resorting to do, but I'll get there in the end. But I think uh, I have my plans for like the next couple of days with it. And I'm probably going to no life slot machines and then just kind of dive into the second bit of it. Um, but that's going to do it for the video here. Hopefully you, uh, you liked what you saw. It's still pretty rough, but I'm, I'm thinking it's going to look pretty good by the time I'm done with it. I'll catch you guys again in the next video uh, with something else in Tower to do. Maybe some maybe I'll do some casino stuff on video. Or maybe I'll just do some ball race. Or maybe I'll find a little Crusaders lobby. I don't know. Whatever I do next in Tower, hopefully you're here to see it, witness it. But I'm going to call the video there, so thank you all very much for watching. Y'all have a lovely day, and as always, toodles, y'all.